In this video, we're going to install Eclim, and I'm going to use a Fedora VM. So first I'm going to click here, and then I'll click here. Now I want to download this, but I don't want to use the VirtualBox UI. I'd rather use my terminal emulator like MobaXterm or PuTTY. The shell or terminal typically uses port 2.2, so I'm going to create what's called a port forward where I will try to connect to my laptop on port 2.2.2.2, and that will forward into the guest on 2.2. And then optionally, you could set up additional port forwards. So first I'll click here and then type in terminal and click terminal and then type IP space A and get the IP address for this VM. Then click on machine settings, go down to network, and advanced port forwarding, click here, type in these values. Notice that the host IP, I'll leave that blank so all network interfaces should respond on this local 2222 and click on OK. Click on OK. Now let's try to open a shell into ourself. Notice we get a connection refused. So to fix that, I'll increase the font size and we will start the SSH daemon and then we will enable it so after we reboot the VM, we won't have to hit start again. So now if I rerun my test, notice that now we can connect. Now in my terminal emulator, I can type in a localhost for the host and a port of 2222 and that should work. And there we go. So now we can continue, although instead of doing this from the laptop, I'm going to switch into the VM and I'll click on activities and open up Firefox. Now click here. And because it says version 1.8, I'm going to skip over version 9 and download version 8. And here I will click on accept for the license agreement and then click on the RPM in our case because we have Fedora. And then I will save that file, then click here and go to PuTTY then go into the downloads directory, then do an RPM I to install. Make sure that you're sudo and that should look like this. If that works, you should be able to enter Java C and get a reply, or you could enter this command. And now we need to install Vim. I'm going to enter this command, which should look like this. And our version of Vim is eight. So now I'll leave Vim. And now we need to install Eclipse. So I'll click here and click here. Now go to activities and files and open up downloads and Eclipse installer and double click Eclipse inst. And then I'll click this one and then here and then here and here and then click here and here and then here and then here. And once it loads, it should look something like this. So that takes us through here. Now let's look at Python and make without installing anything special. We should have this version of make and this version of Python three and to install GCC run this command. Then you can do a GCC version and you should see this. So that takes us through here. Now we need to set our minimum Vim setting with this. Enter that and ZZ, Shift ZZ to save it. And let's run Vim to make sure we don't get any errors. And if I run this first command, I should get a zero. And if I do a file type, I should get this. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'll download this file and save it. Now I'm going to close Eclipse, click on exit, go to activities and then files. Then right click the background, open in terminal, then do an LL and change the permission so that it's executable and then run it and hit enter. That results in an error because you need to give it the full path to the download location. Mine is here. So I pasted it here and we'll hit enter. Now this one's really important. If you're using Bundle or Pathogen or another third-party plugin manager, use the second path. We are not, so we're going to use this first one. In either case, make sure that the directory you choose here already exists. Now for the next prompt, I'll enter these values and then hit Y. Once it finishes, you should see a message that says it installed successfully. Now let's open up Eclipse. Now go to window and then show view and then other, then go down to eclim and open eclim D. That should look something like this. And then go to activities and go down to terminal and let's open up Vim and you can stay in the virtual box GUI if you want, but I'm going to switch over to my terminal emulator. Enter a colon ping eclim. That should give you these two values. And you can also do an eclim and tab a couple times, get to validate, and you should see this. If you got an error, be sure to check this page here 
for example, prior to making this video, I had made a couple mistakes. Here are those. And we talked about the .vim versus .vim and bundle. This is the reasoning behind that. Also, as of this recording, JDK 9 should work fine. Now, to use the software, go to this page and we'll enter this command. So in my case, that looks like this. That should look like this. Let's go take a look at it. So I'm going to do a colon VEX and then minus to go back a directory. And then I'll scroll down and we should see Eclipse workspace here and then go down to Howdy and then go down to either bin or source just to give you an idea of what's here. And then I'll do a shift P to open up one of these. And if you want, you can run this command down here, which will let you move these around. So you get a kind of IDE. Okay, I'll do a colon Q to close that. And if I do a colon project and hit tab, notice all of these options that we have. Let's do a project list. Now I'm going to scroll down to this section and I'm going to create this directory. So I'll do a colon visual explorer. We did this earlier. Hit D to create a new directory. Type source Java, hit enter. Navigate down to source, there's our Java. Hit enter and let's do the same with D. We'll create a new directory, we'll call it org and then test. Then we'll navigate into org and into test. Then to create a file, hit the percent sign and then we'll enter that test main.java. Then do a colon only to make that the only buffer. One and control G to confirm the path. Then copy and paste this. I'm going to press colon set paste to be sure it pastes properly. And then an insert and paste and scroll down. I'll do a set number. Then add system dot and save it. And notice the error on the bottom. And if I move around, it only appears when I'm on that line. I can do an L open. Notice we can navigate, control W and J, and then up and down, select one of the lines, and it will move us to that spot. Now I'll close that with a colon Q. And now for code completion, if you do a help in completion, you'll see the different completion options. Notice this one for a U. So if I shift A and then control X, control U, we get this. Now to navigate the list, it's control P for previous and control N for next. So you can go back and forth. Notice that a tab is not what you want to select. So that saves you some additional typing. There's no tab involved. More options are in this very good book here where you'll see this list. And if yours crashes, close this tab and reopen it again, like we saw before. And now you're back in business. So I want out, I'll do control H to go back. O, U, and X, control X, control U again. Completes the out, so I can do a dot, control X, U. Here I want print, so actually I can do a PR, control X, U from here, and select this, then hello world, and end things out. Notice I still have this problem at the top, so I'll do GG to go to, or escape GG to go to the top of the line. Notice my error, and I can add a Java dot, not probably the greatest approach, but at least it gets rid of the error. And as a matter of fact, let's fix that. That's of course not right. So I'll go back through here. Clearly this is the problem. We don't want this here. So control J and L to move to the right and do a B delete to delete that buffer. Control L to refresh the screen. And by the way, these are the commands I'm looking at. Then dash to go back a directory, dash again. Then shift R to relocate this. And I'm just going to back up here like that and hit enter and dash to go back. And there it is. And shift D to get rid of this directory here. We'll hit yes to confirm it and control L to refresh. I'll zoom in a little bit. Now we just confirm that there's our file and then I'll do a colon W and our error goes away. Now to run this, do a colon Java and notice we get this output and a split window telling us the same. And of course, all of that is documented here. Hopefully that helps you get started with eClim.